Dennis Hopper's agent, he'd run out of agents. He was really, Dennis Hopper was, you can't imagine what he was like. He made the easy ride in the last movie. The last movie was about cocaine in the Andes. You can imagine what state he came back from there, you know, with him out. It was the last movie. And uh, people said Dennis would never work again. He was in Taos, in Mexico, so drunk. We visited him there to persuade him to be in the film. Anyway, first of all, met his, first of all, wanted Stacey Keach. Stacey Keach would have nothing to do with us. They went and found that his agent was called Bob Raison, who was Cole Porter's lover. And he greeted us into Swindon with a velour bathing costume and one of those mirror things. He said, I read the script, then it gets raped in the film in prison. I love it. I'm going to send you to, to New Mexico. We flew to New Mexico. Then I said, oh, I get buggered in this film. I love it, man. I'm coming. And he, he arrived in Australia. And um, you can imagine his agents just saying, here you are. You go get your parcel. Get on that plane. Fuck off to Australia. And he arrived in Australia. And we picked him up from the airport. Where's your baggage? In it? I've got man. What's your clothes? I didn't have any. You supply the clothes. He had rather than a Levi suit. He had no underpants, no socks, cowboy boots, and a passport. He, he arrived in Australia like that. He left like that. <laughs> By midnight of that night, he was in jail. <laughs> and that was my beginning of my experience with a, a, a you know, near fight. And we lucked out with getting Dennis. But I mean, he he was alive when we sent him home. <laughs> And, um, and, he, and he was incredible. And he became sober and became a very close friend of mine. And he was a fabulous man. But at that time, we locked out with that. So that was like a lucky story. And I suppose you just need to meet Fassbender in the bar, Michael Fassbender in the bar. I'm not making light of it. It's very difficult. And uh, you just luck is a, a crucial ingredient of this business, you know, being at the right place. It's a bit poetic, this, but... River of Life is true for me because I've been like on the river and at the confluence of the river I never sank and I just continued on the, you know, never, it was just happened from one thing to another went to another, went to another without really forcing it commitment to an idea but not, and staying with an idea, but I've never been uh, conceiving I built this sort of small business by necessity to keep myself away from being, having a boss you know, basically.